Hi guys, look at you here and oh, Thai drunken noodles are on the menu, aka Pat Kimau is a popular Thai street food dish. I would consider it Pad Thai's evil cousin, okay, because it is much spicier and thicker and basil-y. What we have here is vermicelli. Okay, this is around the thickness of my right pinky. Now with rice noodles, okay, you do not need to boil, okay? All you need is a bowl haircut and warm water. And we're just gonna toss it in this warm water. We're gonna need half a pound, 225 G. Ooh, and it goes into the jacuzzi. We're letting it soak for six to eight minutes. Pat Kimau. What is Pat Kimau? What does it mean? As we all know, pat meat, stir fry. We need three garlic cloves. What's kimau? Kimau means. Guess. Ah. How do you know? It means drunk person. Next up, we have Thai red chili, aka. Bird's eye chili, bird's eye. Bullseye, bird's eye. Not sure why it's called bird's eye. A bird does not look like this, especially the eye. If I saw a bird out in the wild with eyes like this, like this, poking out like this, I will run for my life because that does not look normal. My monkey brain is like, that is not good. We need four bird's eye chilies. We're gonna julienne it. Long strips, okay? To make it look pretty. Just like you, you're looking extra good today. I see you got a haircut. Yes, I noticed. We're just gonna slice this onion. You may be wondering, <laughs> look at you. So why is are these noodles called drunken? Do you get drunk off it? Is there alcohol involved? No. This noodle dish is to cure a hangover, to cure that wild night out at the bar. Next up we have green onion. We need two stalkers. We're just gonna slice it into two inch strips. You see those, this YMCA? It's doing the YMCA. And finally, we have cinnamon basil. This can also be known as Thai basil. Now, Pat Kima typically uses holy basil. But in Toronto, we cannot find this holy basil. I checked everywhere, I checked the church, they don't have it. Maybe it's growing in the back, I don't know. So we will use a bouquet. Imagine instead of flowers, you give someone a bouquet of basil. <laughs> First date, here's here, I got you some Thai basil. Actually, I would be flattered. I would be like, this is actually useful. Thank you. Grab a, a towel. Okay, I know it's not eco-friendly. I know, but I will use this to wash my face after. My face will be very aromatic with Thai basil. So do not worry. This is the most funnest part of it all, okay? We're gonna have to rip every single leaf all right that's around a cup right guys left you know there's like a flower here i wonder if it's edible should we try it mm. good stuff all right 
Oh, it's not good. It's not good. Now it is time to walk and roll. Turn two. Hi, heat. Let's prepare the Pepki Mouse sauce. We have fish sauce. This brand is called Squid. One tablespoon. Now this fish sauce will add a lovely umami. Next up we have oyster sauce. You shuck an oyster, there's this sauce inside. Nice deep brown color with the pearl. One tablespoon. This oyster sauce will add even more umaminess. Umami papi. All right, next up we have soy sauce. Okay, this is regular soy sauce. Some parts of the world, they say it's a light soy sauce, depending where you are. One tablespoon. Here's a photo, by the way, of the eclipse I took. Very gorgeous. Finally, we have dark soy sauce. This just adds a lovely dark color. Tints the noodles a bit, makes it look more delicioso. Uno, two teaspoons. One, two tablespoons of water. Look at you, this seems quite salty. How do we balance it? Two teaspoons of sugar. And then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix. Ooh, Master Chef Miku, how's it looking? Do a little sniffy. Let's get this video to 180 likes. Sniffy. So you can give Miku big juicy blueberries at the end of next video. And to our walk, we will add two tablespoons of olive oil. And the first thing we're gonna add is garlic and chili peppers. Here, that sizzle. Sizzle dizzle. And we're gonna stir fry this for 30 seconds just to get the juices aroma therapy going, okay? It's time to add our onions, both yellow and orange or green. Depends on what color you see. And we're gonna stir fry this for uno minuto. You know, we need the games, we need protein. So we got some chicken thighs before God. We need 225 grams, half a pound, of skinless, boneless chicken thighs. These are huge. These are huge thighs. These thighs have been squatting. Cut little strips, little chunks, little strips. Las Vegas strips. Hey, they lied. They said this has no bone, but there's a bone. That's a liability, as future once said. All right, that's around 225 grams. According to my binocular eyes, I can calculate the grams without even measuring. The rest will be for your dog. Here you go. Take it. Thank you. Wash your hands. Now we're just gonna stir fry this chicken until fully cooked, all right? We don't want salmonella. Ella can take her salmon and go home with it. I don't want any salmon. Unless it is sashimi, then give me the salmon. All right, the best part of the video. I know you're waiting. Let me show you. Gorgeous. It's drooping. It's soft. It is like a ribbon. Like a little bow tie. Fancy dinner party, you wear this instead of cotton. Just add the noodles directly into the wok. One final mixy mix and pour it on top. Gently toss, okay? Until 
the noodles soak up all that sauce. You see that sauce on the bottom? You have to be gentle. We don't want to break it. Like my heart <laughs> when my food falls on the floor and people are watching so I cannot pick it up and eat it. But if no one was watching, I would pick it up and eat it. All right. So as you can see here, the sauce has mostly disintegrated. So turn off the heat and add in your Thai basil. Mix it in. You can see our basil is nice and wilted. It is time to plate it up. Okay, we have the fancy schmancy bamboo platey. Link in the description if you want to purchase. We got some parchment paper. Place it in. Oh yes. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Cowabunga! We have a lime. We just need a nice wedge, like so. Wow, this is the most perfect lime ever. Gorgeous. Okay, we're just gonna like plop it over here and let's dig in. All right, so this is the finished product and I'm super excited. Oh, oh, look at that. All right, cheers. First bite for you. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, I dropped a chicken. Oopsie daisy. We're gonna eat it without the lime first, okay? When you first take a bite, you get hit with that. Mm. Oh, so chewy, voluptuous, scrumptious rice noodle. Okay, very bad, see? Then you chew a little, and you get that lovely, mmm, fragrant and slight licorice flavor from the Thai basil. Has a nice kick from the chili papas. Mm. You can taste a lovely umami poppiness from the fish sauce, oyster sauce, soya sauce. Now let's squeeze the lime. Oh yeah, why am I, I'm covering it like it would spray on you. Look, look how polite I am. <laughs> now let's give it a bite with the lime. Oh, the lime brightens the whole dish up. Okay, mm-hmm. Adds a lovely refreshing zing to the dish. If it weren't for a pretty garnish, I would use like half a lime and just squeeze the whole thing like a taco. And I'll see you guys next time. Miku gets salad. Eat. Miku, they didn't give you a croissant today. And if you're still here, comment umami poppy to confuse everyone.